Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles the Band. So I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. And we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And I always see them. Today, we've got a pretty serious show for you guys. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe uh, to the channel. Now, as you guys know, this OJ Simpson, um, <laughs> this OJ Simpson news is it has some people kind of weighing in on various sides. Yesterday, we published a show. So uh, uh, numerous shows on Stephen A. Smith weighing in um, on ESPN. Then you had Shannon Sharp uh, and Chad Johnson weighing in, and then you had Doug Gottlieb who initially weighed in weighed in on the story. Now the show we did, that we produced around Shannon Sharp, I said that I was surprised with the tone that Shannon took with his response because I remember Shannon not being fond of OJ because of the way he seemed to shun. Uh, the black community. I remember when he was on uh, Undisputed, when we got the news that OJ was going to be getting out of prison, uh, and Shannon Sharp said he felt no way at all. He seemed to be absolutely, um, you know, um, he had no, he he was totally he had no emotional association to that story. So to hear Shannon Sharp kind of react to people who were you know saying things about him in, in his passing, I was very very surprised by that. And one of those people was Doug Gobley of FS1. He came out and he took a very, very strong position uh, against the passing of, of OJ Simpson. And he basically said he got what he deserved and all of that. So then what happened was Shannon and Chad Johnson reacted to some of the commentary that people were saying that took the same kind of road that Doug Gobley took. And then Doug Gottlieb then went on his show yesterday on Fox Sports Radio where he then responded to the commentary of Shannon Sharp, where he essentially doubled down. But to give this show some context, we want to quickly play what uh, Shannon originally said on his show on Nightcap with Chad Johnson to give this guy, to give this show some context. And then we'll come back. Take a listen to what Chad Johnson and uh, 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 Sh Shannon Sharp had to say yesterday. But Caitlyn Jenner mm -hmm. um, tweeted, very tacky, very distasteful. Yes. Basically, what it said was good riddance. No matter what you think of someone, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ocho, mm -hmm. you don't celebrate someone's death. You, you never do that. You never do you that. Never, you, it's, one, it's one thing about God. God don't play. You don't celebrate nobody's death. Even if you despise that person based on personal issues y'all might have gone through. Now, you have to remember. Now, OJ, murder, the case, he was acquitted. But obviously, acquitted. was tried. In the in uh in the civil case. Mm -hmm. Now also again, God don't like ugly. If I'm not mistaken, brother, I mean sister, sister brother Caitlyn Jenner also mm -hmm. had an issue. 2015 fatal car accident, killed somebody. What? Uh, I, no, hold on, what? No. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, no hey. you didn't. Yeah, no, she don't. didn't. Yeah. Now everything in the OJ, we people allegedly. He mm -hmm. killed Nicole Brown Simpson yeah, yes, sir. and Ronald Goldman. Yes, sir. He went on trial. Mm -hmm. 12 men and women, mm -hmm. a jury of his peers, mm -hmm. says we don't believe he did it. Yes, sir. Beyond a reasonable doubt. Right. They acquitted him. He went to trial on the civil charges. He was convicted. So you mean to tell me there's no denying that at the hands of Caitlyn Jenner, mm -hmm. someone lost their life? Mm -hmm. Yes, so sir. So how would she feel? Now she did she I don't if I'm not mistaken I don't recall her spending any not one day in jail. Yes, sir. But you yeah. you you say good riddance. You happy yeah. for the death? You know God don't like my grandma used to always say when I was a little boy, Ocho. Mm -hmm. God don't like ugly. No. Sometimes he don't like pretty. Yeah, and you, you never be know. Careful. You, you got to be careful because you never know. You never know your time is up. Every time we born, we all come with an expiration date. Now we Absolutely. don't know what that day is, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to speed it up because the tongue is yeah. powerful. If you're gonna celebrate somebody else, listen. If you're gonna celebrate somebody else's death, now you got to be careful. And God, God, God can show you better than He can tell you. Yes. So you heard their commentary. So what happened this morning? I jumped on YouTube and I saw Doug Gottlieb a show on. Uh, I actually saw I saw it on uh, what is it on YouTube, where he was essentially responding to Shannon Sharp, and the title goes: Doug Gottlieb reacts to Shannon Sharp's comments on oj simpson so that's what we want to play because that's at the heart of this show but before we even get into that this video is brought to you by our sponsor prize picks which is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in north america
Prize picks is really simple. Instead of just selecting a team, you just select two or more players, pick more or less their projected stats, and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries, Stephen Curry for more than 25 points, and then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks, and Damian Lillard for more, for more than four three-pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is want to play exactly uh, what Doug Opley had to say in response to Shannon Sharp, and then we'll come back and give you guys our thoughts. Take a listen to this here. So this was Shannon Sharp. Who was he reacting to? He's reacting to. Uh, oh, you don't have. We don't have. Okay. So did you see what? Did you hear what Shannon Sharp said? He's like, listen, um, people who never wish ill upon the dead. Right, Shannon Sharp and Chad Johnson both saying never wish ill upon the dead when O.J. Simpson died. Since when? You're not allowed to wish ill upon the dead when he's responsible for the deaths of two people, including his ex-wife? Really? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I'm not the bad guy for not mourning the loss of the bad guy. Sorry. Right? And this is not like sports guy. This is not, you know, Barry Bonds who took steroids. That's the only way he could pass uh, Henry Aaron's record. This is not even Alex Rodriguez, like the shadiest, worst dude ever. Like, no. No. This is a completely different level. We talk about sports and business. Like, I, the, the murderers, I think, we, you got a special place in hell there, right? It's, it's more than just being responsible for, and I believe, though found innocent in a criminal court of law, I believe he did it. There's the interview, I, I, you guys have all seen the interview, right, where he went through the imaginary scenario, you know, if in, in, this, uh, in this scenario, and then all of a sudden you can see him walking you through that night, and he's got this nefarious Charlie figure. Yes, I did see that. Dude's a sociopath. Like, what are we all doing? You don't have to, you don't have to, when Charlie Manson died, did you have to go like, you know, hey, listen, all due respect to the passing of the Charlie Manson. You murder somebody or responsible for, or no, the, the, the softest I could ever go is, well, at least he what knows who did it. And for all of this time, for the 30 years since the passing of his ex-wife, he couldn't give her family peace. And so now he dies. We're supposed to go like, hey, you know, he died. Like, never speak ill upon the dead. No! He's a horrible human being. He's got a first-class ticket to hell. Why am I supposed to feel bad? Or why am I supposed to not speak poorly of the dead? My, I'm, you're a God-fearing Christian man. Uh, Dan, am I wrong here? Am I, am I the bad guy for saying that? No, I don't think that you're the bad guy. I think that there are a lot of people that, that share your opinion on this. I do not share the opinion of Shannon Sharp. I also think that Shannon Sharp, because he attacked Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, oh, that's what it was. It was about, it was about yeah, Caitlyn Jenner. Yes, that's where it ended up. Because she made a, a a comment on Twitter. And so I think that's where X, wherever it was. That's where I think that it was angled, but I do not. I do not think I don't have the the angst that you have, but I am in lockstep with you. So you heard what Doug had to say. I want to be honest with you guys. As I was listening to him talk on the issue, I was turned off. I'm being sincere with you. I was really turned off. Doug sounds like a person uh, with very little character 
uh, while it was making those comments. I'm just being honest. It sounded like somebody that I could never speak to, um, associate myself with. We can have a conversation in which we disagree, but those are some really low character comments. I actually had to do some quick research to understand what is his religious uh, background. And Doug Opley, according to what I saw online, I could be 100% wrong, seems to be a Jewish person. Um, so he seems to be a religious person to some extent. Oh, I could be wrong. Maybe he doesn't he doesn't practice any religion. I know Vlad says he's Jewish, but then he doesn't believe in religion. So I could be totally wrong, but I disagree with him on a, on a biblical level. 100%. I am a Christian and in the Bible, uh, there are examples of when God, you know, deals with people that may, you know, have caused you harm or be your adversaries. And God clearly says that if you relish and take pleasure in me reprimanding these people, I'll remove my wrath on those people and bring it upon you. So from a biblical standpoint, I don't understand what Doug Opley is talking about. I don't resonate, don't really care to understand or what he was saying. Then he went on to say, I should be happy for the bad guy. That, Bro, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? First of all, you're speaking as if you're someone that litigated the case and you lost and you're angry about it. He said that he did it. Well, according to the justice system, they said no. Now, if whether or not people believe it or not, that's one thing. But what you believe is not reality. What's reality is what took place in the courtroom and what the judge said. That's the reality. That's the reality, right? Um, for you to be harboring this amount of anger towards OJ to be like, oh, I'm happy that he passed and da, 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 da. like that's a little bit too much, you know, and he's going to go a nice place in hell. Doug, please stop. You're not a judge, jury, and executioner. You're a human being like the next. You have your flaws as well. I'm sure you've done something to piss somebody off somewhere. And how would you feel if that person all of a sudden starts sending you to hell? I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't know what, I don't understand what he was really trying to say with his commentary. He just seemed like someone that was very, very happy to see. He's talking about he's the bad guy. Fine. He's, if he's the bad guy, if he's the bad guy, he would have been, he would have been dealt with right? He went to court. They, you know, they found him not guilty. Then he did something else. Then he went to prison and then he passed because he had cancer, but it's not up to you to judge him and you to say what he deserves. You're no, you're just a person. That is all. Yeah. You may feel like, okay, I'm an authority figure. You're not in the real grand scheme of things. You're just a human being like the rest of us. And you don't get to pass judgment on people. You don't. And that's the part I'm not understanding. That's the part that's not, that's really turning me off. Who are you to be casting judgment on people? You're just a person. At the end of the day, you will be judged as well, whether you believe it or not. So, you know, a person that's going to stand against to be judged cannot sit around and then cast judgment. It's, it's, I don't know what Doug was talking about. He, those are some very low character uh, comments and he's going to say, maybe he's going to take it from the position. Well, why are you defending? No one is defending anything. I'm not happy nor sad about OJ's news. I'm totally indifferent to it. You, on the other hand, seem to be taking some type of pleasure out of the guy's passing. And you're then upset at people that don't share the same sentiment as you. Like, well, why are you defending him? It's like, well, why are you relishing in this situation so much? Why is it turning you on so much? Like, I don't understand that. What's what, what's wrong with you? Like, why do you, <laughs> I don't understand that. Why are you, why are you so happy about it? Fine. If you feel the way that you feel, no one has stopped you from feeling the way that you feel. No one. All Shannon said was he didn't like the fact that some people were relishing a little bit too much and you're getting upset. Well, he's the bad guy. No, you just feel the way you feel. And those are your views. And as a Christian, I think you're 100% wrong. And, I, and, 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 and I'm standing on that. You know, I'm standing on that. So to me, Doug Opley, those are some really low character uh, comments. I, I expected a little bit better from you. But we're talking about he's the bad guy and he's dead and he's going to get what he deserves. Bro, you're, you're going way too far way too far you're speaking like some type of sanctimonious person trust me we all sin including yourself so stop with the sending people to hell and all of that stuff it's not up to, it's not up to you that's not your decision that's god's decision not yours just wanted to put that out there those are some disgusting comments those are my thoughts whatever you guys think leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section we catch you guys on the next show peace